Hey, Ezra Firestone here with you, and welcome to another episode of Zipify e-commerce news, where we bring you the latest and greatest of what's going on in Shopify, what's going on in the retail world at large, and what's going on here at Zipify, what we've built, what we've added to our apps, what we're doing in our businesses. I'm going to kick right off and start talking about what's the latest with Shopify. Now, Shopify recently announced a much more in-depth partnership with walmart.com, which is super exciting because Walmart is the fastest growing e-commerce channel on the internet. It grew by 30% year over year. Uh, and it's now the number two e-commerce channel in existence. So Amazon's about, you know, 30, 40% of all retail transactions. Walmart is like 6%. And then what's following Walmart is eBay. And the reason this is really good for e-commerce merchants is, you know, right now, if you sell on Amazon, like they take a giant percentage and they control all the customer data and it's kind of a pain in the butt. Well, with Walmart integrating with Shopify to get access to, um, the third, you know, Amazon has a bunch of third party merchants. Walmart doesn't. Walmart has like its brands and then some third party merchants. So Walmart is kind of tapping Shopify to get access to a bunch of brands so that it can compete with Amazon from a diversity perspective. So it can have enough products on Am on Walmart that uh, there's a lot of options for people to choose from. And it's good for us as e-commerce merchants, as Walmart and, and Shopify uh, get closer and more enmeshed with each other. Uh, it's going to be easier for us to list our products, easier for us to run ads, and easier for us to get access to the customer base that is shopping solely on walmart.com that might not come to our website or might not you know, shop on Amazon or might not be on social media. It's a sub-segment of customers that we can get access to, and it's actually a really, really large sub-segment of customers. So if you're not already signed up for Shopify's integration with Walmart, go ahead and do that now because over the next year or two, it's going to grow. It's going to continue to grow as a, an e-commerce channel where people shop and it's going to be a really great opportunity for you as a merchant to get sales. A couple quick things in the retail landscape at large. Big Commerce is going public. Yeah, you remember Big Commerce, the e-commerce platform that was like neck and neck with Shopify until Shopify kind of won the race. Well, Big Commerce is still out there and they serve mostly seven figure and above merchants who want a little more flexibility from a development standpoint than what is available on some Shopify stores. So big commerce is out there, they're doing well, and they're going to IPO, which means you'll be able to buy big commerce stock. You'll be able to, you know, um, invest in big commerce as a person in the public. And uh, you should, because they're not going anywhere. They've proven that they can still they can still grow, they can still maintain, they serve a particular segment of the market who wants them. So this stock is going to be worth more than it is when it IPOs. The same way Shopify came out at like 25 bucks a share and now is like worth hundreds. Big commerce may not have that kind of growth, but it's definitely going to, in my opinion, stay stable and be worth, um, be worth investing in if you buy stock because you know, e-commerce is the, it's the now and the future and they're a good platform that is not going to go anywhere. And they've proven that they can, um, you know, survive in a post Shopify world. Some other news coming out of our industry is Yachtpo has raised another $75 million. Yachtpo, they do e uh, reviews for Shopify. They also bought SMS Bump. They bought Smile.io. They've bought all kinds of Shopify apps. They're kind of becoming a sort of conglomerate of multiple apps in a family. And now they got a lot of money. So look for them to continue to be very expensive, which they are right now, but also innovate and do cool stuff. So those are a couple little news stories. Now, let's talk about what's going on at Zipify. Now, as I mentioned, we're always building stuff. We're always trying to make our products better. And uh, we've got a big update with Zipify Pages, which is that we now can publish into forward slash products on your Shopify store. We can actually modify your Shopify's product pages. We're coming for themes. We want to be, we want to replace themes. We want you to be able to do everything that you need to do on your website inside of Zipify, product pages, collections, cart, et cetera. And we're working on that. And so I'm gonna play a video now, a quick update on what it, why we, why we are publishing into forward slash products, what it means in our overall vision and what that functionality is. And then we'll come back and talk about some of the other updates that we have with Zipify apps. Ladies and gentlemen, Ezra Firestone here, and it's finally here. Zipify editing of your Shopify 
product pages. Now, if you've followed me in my store, boom, and anything I've done in e-commerce for the last several years, you know that we believe that your product page is the most important page on your entire e-commerce store because it's where the customer actually makes the purchase decision. And we've put out a bunch of content on our viewpoints on how to have product pages perform well. Everything from social proof to customer testimonials to long form left, right, stacked content to upsells and cross sells. And we have yet to be able to edit the forward slash product section of your Shopify store. Our vision with Zipify pages is to completely take over themes and we're getting closer. So we have phase one of our product pages rolled out now. So when you're inside the app, you can go to product pages and you can click new page and that will allow you to select one of your products from your Shopify store. I'll select Boomstick Glow here and uh, I'll just keep the page name as it is. I'll go ahead and tag this with, you know, new product and I'll click create. Now you'll notice when we get in here, we are dynamically pulling in three elements from your theme for phase one of forward slash product editing. And then eventually you'll be able to build an entirely custom product page using the high converting Zipify pages dynamic buy box. But for now as phase one, because we know that a lot of you have buy boxes on your themes that have a lot of customization to them, we automatically pull in the buy box for a given product from your theme. So in this case, I'm using Boomstick Glow and we're gonna pull in your themes header and footer. Now above this buy box, you can add in any Zipify pages block that you want. So in the case of my product pages, I'm a big fan of long form left, right content. So I'm going to go ahead and add some content to this page and then I'm going to show it to you in just a second. All right. So I've done some editing to this page. I've got long form left, right content, headline, sub headline, ownership benefit copy, uh, customer testimonial video, brand identity affirmation video, a little bit more sales copy, and then what I call story selling, where I tell a little bit of a story about the product, the ownership benefit of the product, why you'd want it. I have a final call to action down below that actually anchors up to the buy box. So it actually anchors you back up to the buy box. And then I'm also integrating my reviews for this product via stamped.io. And we integrate with a bunch of reviews apps. And then I'm using my normal fit footer. So I've got my themes buy box and I'm using Zipify pages, long form left, right content, um, and some other blocks down below. Now I could add urgency to this page by putting a timer on it during a sale. I could do all kinds of stuff. Now that I can edit it in Zipify pages, it's just much easier and more flexible than a theme. So let's publish it and take a look at what it looks like on the store. All right. So here we are on the store. I've got my themes header. I've got my, uh, my themes buy box. And then I've got this nice long form left, right content via Zipify with my sales videos. I've got my story selling. I got my anchored button down the bottom that brings you right back up to the top. And then I've got my integrated stamped IO reviews. So this is version one of Zipify product page editing. Once you're in the builder, you can click on product pages. You can select a new page. You can select the product you want to edit. It's going to pull it in. Like for example, we can go boom scrub here and you can set any tags you want on it. And then it's going to pull in your header, your footer and uh, your themes dynamic, your themes buy box. And then from there above or below that buy box, you can add whatever Zipify pages blocks you want. You can edit them. You can change them. You can publish and unpublish and very soon, we will roll out a phase two, which will enable you to use all of the Zipify pages product templates. So forward slash product pages here, you can see our proven profitable product page that gives you access to our dynamic buy box, which is a phenomenal um, buy box with upselling and cross selling built in with a image carousel with all kinds of fun stuff. You can do countdown timers as well as some of the other elements we have on our pages. Um, you'll be able to use all of our product pages and you won't even need your themes forward slash product page. But we wanted to roll out version one first that was leveraging your themes product page because many people have custom product pages on their theme, uh, custom buy boxes rather, and they want to use their themes buy box. So version one, you can edit your forward slash product pages while using your header and footer and your themes buy box. And then version two in about a month, you will be able to use the Zipify pages dynamic buy box, which again, if you don't know about that, uh, we have a bunch of buy boxes you can use, but the dynamic buy box is the most popular one, which enables you to do all kinds of stuff like setting discounts, cross selling, modifying the layout, um, modifying the carousel, having the mobile layout. You can do a lot of really fun stuff with our buy boxes. So wanted to show this off to you. If you have any questions, of course, you can reach out to us in live chat. You can reach out to us 
in support and uh, go ahead and start editing your product pages inside of Zipify pages. Zipify pages forward slash products editing phase one of our complete theme takeover is complete and soon we'll be editing a whole bunch of other types of uh, parts of your theme and now we've made our foray into forward slash products and this is phase one of two and of course we'll be adding a lot more cool stuff in the future so check it out go ahead get in there edit your products edit your themes product pages using zipify and if you have any questions hit us up and support via live chat thanks so much and i'll talk to you soon all right, so that's product pages. Get in there and use those. I want to talk to you now about home pages and using Zipify pages to build out your Shopify store's home page. Now, a lot of the traffic that you get, no matter where it comes in, it came from a Facebook ad, they ended up on the product page, they will navigate back to the home page looking for things. And the reason they do that is because all the big websites, Amazon, eBay, Walmart, Home Depot, you can find everything that you need to find on that site, shipping information, product information, uh, returns, anything that you might want about us, stories from the homepage. And consumers, you know, most transactions happen on the top 10 websites on the internet. And consumers are trained by those top 10 websites to go back to the homepage to search for things. So I want to show you our homepage template, why we use, why we have it set up the way we have it and how it's working for us. Now we've added this template here into Zipify pages. It's called the high value homepage. So if you click new page, uh, you can select home pages and you can use the high value homepage template. Uh, and I'll just rename it here so we can we can get in and take a look at it. And before we get into the actual blocks, I just want to talk you through it. So we've got a sticky header with two calls to action, see our store or join the club. The reason for that is we only ever have two goals in e-commerce when they're on our page, when they're on a page that isn't a product page. And, and one is get them to see the products. And two is get their contact information. And so on the homepage, we've got a nice sticky header. That's going to follow you as you scroll. We've got a a hero banner that's going to promote a particular piece of content. So if we look at our store here, we'll go to the home page of our store. You'll notice that we're running a different hero banner than is in the template because we're running a uh, pro age month. We're running a specific promotion. So we've got a different hero banner, but you can change this hero banner up as you modify pieces of content. This is kind of the one we usually have. We have a, a pre-sell article that we promote at the top of our home page, but you can have whatever you want. Then we've got a recap of why we exist. So, so there's been a lot of split tests done about um, what versus why on the homepage. Why always wins on the homepage. So this block is the why. Hey, we're the first cosmetic line for women of all generations. This is what we do. Here's a testimony from our customers. Go shop our store with a hero image that represents us, right? So that's why there's that why block. And and if you look at look at our site, you can see we've got our Y block here with a call to action to shop. Same as in the template. First pro age cosmetic line for women of any generation with a customer testimonial and a hero shot. So we've got our content call to action and our Y block. Next, we've got specific products that you can consume. Now you notice that in the template here, uh, I'll get out of the exit so you can go in. You could add more than one product here. You could add whatever products you want. You could add a second row of this, right? You could duplicate this and have two rows of content. And we are split testing our static three products like we used to have, right? We used to have it like this, where it was a static three products. Um, static three like that. We used to have that. Uh, and we're split testing it versus a carousel. Right now, the carousel is winning uh, on desktop and mobile. So we are building this block. And very soon, you'll be able to have a block just like this on your homepage as well. The split test is still running. And obviously, we don't put anything into Zipify pages that we don't split test ourselves first. So we're not going to roll it in until it wins the test. But it's looking like it's going to win. So we have already started the development of it. So it'll be ready as soon as the test is over. Then we've got some social proof customer testimonials, a second call to action, and some unique selling propositions. And you can see as you go down, another call to action with content that you can have here, uh, some um, unique selling propositions uh, in image format with text, some more images, another call to action, some testimonials, and then a final footer call to action. You'll notice that our mobile block is a little different, right? We've got a square block for the image on mobile and a long block for the image, uh, sorry, a horizontal block for the image on desktop. And that's because in Zipify pages, you can choose to display a particular piece of content on mobile only or hide it from mobile as is in the case of this block. So very straightforward, very simple homepage, uh, talking about why we exist, call to action for content up top, call to action to shop, visit viewing our products, 
social proof, unique selling propositions, and uh, more social proof down the bottom. Very effective template. And if you want to use it, uh, you can add more content than that if you want as well. But the way to do it is to build that page out, publish it, and then go to settings. And right here under store settings, you can click use Zipify pages as the home page, and then you can select the page that you just built, and that will then replace the home page on your Shopify e-commerce store. Your home page will be a page that you built in Zipify pages. It's easy to update, easy to manipulate, add content, split test, all the rest of it. So that's the updates for this uh, episode of Zipify e-commerce news. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for hanging out. Really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. You know, appreciate your interest in e-commerce. It's a good time to be in this industry. If you're a Zipify customer, thank you so much for putting your trust in us. We really appreciate it. And we're working hard every day to ensure that we continue to earn your trust, that we have the best products, best in class products. So if you're not a Zipify customer, check us out. We're in the Shopify app store. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.